This is the moment every lifeguard dreads. Two swimmers in distress, in heavy seas, almost a kilometre from help. Very typical of Australians to go for swimming in the ocean there. On the day, very dangerous conditions, three metre surf. Five people went to the beach, three went for a swim. One of them came back, but the other two unfortunately got taken out by a rip. So 120 metres offshore and very dangerous surf. Almost 300 people drowned in Australian waterways last year. Eddie Bennett is chief executive of Westpac Little Ripper Lifesaver, a group using drone technology to save lives. They made an emergency call which came through to the lifeguards from Surf Life Saving New South Wales that we're working with with the drones. The drone was launched immediately, went up the beach about 800 metres and found them straight away, saw they were in trouble and deployed the marine rescue pod and uh, the rest is history. It's the world's first real rescue of people in the surf by a drone. The drone rescue took just over one minute, while it took beach lifeguards almost five minutes to get to the same spot. There are already 50 drones in service, locating swimmers in distress, dropping inflatable rescue pods or medical equipment such as mini defibrillators. Little Ripper has teamed up with University Technology Sydney to develop artificial intelligence technology which can use the drone's cameras to spot dangerous sharks. On a number of occasions we've seen sharks and sometimes in what could be quite dangerous circumstances. Only the other day the drone was used with the siren to alert people swimming in the water to the proximity of a shark and they very quickly were able to exit the water. And from ground level on the beach you probably wouldn't have seen that shark. But from an aerial view with the drone, yes you can see it. Following last week's rescue, Mr Bennett says several international organisations have contacted the company about potential applications of its drone technology, including the US Coast Guard. Drones are likely to play a much larger role in the years to come. Jamie Smith, Financial Times, Sydney.